Welcome to Tuesday Tunes. I'm Julia Jones, your host. Today, we're going to be looking at how a university student became a YouTube celebrity and catch up with a Montreal-based band. Anna Scouten might seem like just another 20-something, but for the YouTube community, she's much more. Kelsey Puglowski caught up with Anna to find out how she made a name for herself online. 2,162,387. That's the number of views Anna Scouten's YouTube channel has racked up over the past three years. A number that roughly equates to the population of Jamaica. Anna's debut on YouTube was more of a spontaneous decision than a thought-out career path. Somebody uh, mentioned the idea to me and I just decided that putting my music out in a public place would be a good idea for me. Because she suffers from occasional stage fright, Anna feels more at ease behind her computer than in front of an audience. But singing to a cyber crowd has its pros and cons. The internet is flawed in a lot of ways because it's sort of just the shield that anybody can write whatever they want and they don't think, well I personally haven't had like super negative comments but I can imagine that like if I were to get that it would just be like heartbreaking. The YouTube community provides Anna with an abundance of professional opportunities. Anna is hopeful her internet presence will continue to propel her career forward. I would really enjoy making money off of it because that'd be nice. Um, and I would, in five or ten years, definitely have my own music to show for what I've been doing. Although Anna has gained notoriety on the internet, you can still find her roaming the halls of her university. This is the beauty of being a YouTube superstar. In Montreal, I'm Kelsey Podlowski. The Wind Up Radio Sessions are an all-Canadian band. They have received great critical acclaim since the release of their last album, Red Brick House. Reporter Emily Campbell caught up with them at their jam space to find out what they've been up to. Brothers Mark and Dan Keeley had been playing music together for years in Hamilton, Ontario. Once they migrated to Montreal, they met Matt Lazenby from the UK and started to take their musical career more seriously. The three men started the band Wind Up Radio Sessions, and in 2010, they released their first full-length album. They then recruited Dan Crosby to round out their sound. Now that the band is complete with four members, they've started working on their newest project. They were lucky enough to get funding from the federal and provincial governments with two grants that will help them produce their newest album, Bird Eyes. The reality for this band, and many like it, is that even these grants aren't enough to produce an album. They will just barely break even when they launch it this spring. But that doesn't stop them from pursuing their art, and they even plan to quit their day jobs and go on tour. During the month of May and June, we're going to be heading off, going coast to coast, uh, doing a big tour. So that's in the planning stages right now. Um, yeah, and that's, that's really the, the biggest thing that's on the horizon. After that, we'll just see, uh, see where the album takes us. In Montreal, I'm Emily Campbell. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Julia Jones, and I'll see you next time on Tuesday Tunes. From all the latest, the one I kiss is music.